Hello everyone and welcome back to more Root Double. In the last episode we entered Area N only to find that the so-called nuclear reactor that this facility was supposedly built around does not exist. We don't know what it is in the center but it's no nuclear reactor that's for sure. And Salu tried to attack us as we found Natsuhiko lying, lying in area end with some gunshot wounds. He's still alive, but just barely. So we're taking, after subduing Salu and her getting subsequently injured, we've decided to take them back to first aid to hopefully get some help. All the emergency staircases in Area 5 were out of commission, so they decided to get to the infirmary through Area 4. Oh yeah, we got Kazami with us. Uh, it assume, assuming Yukida, or, yeah, Yukida and June are still trying to find us because they think we're bad people. Or at least uh, the captain is. Ina is on our side. Something happened? Kazami knows the truth about Ariane because we told her go look for yourself and so we don't know what this facility is but Yukida has been lying to us but I'm gonna give him the benefit of doubt maybe he doesn't know what area Anne actually was this whole time but I don't know no they don't seem to be at all I can't believe one of our own co workers doesn't trust us. It's a shame, isn't it? He didn't know the details, but the tone in Kazami's voice and the look on her face were enough to convince Watase. Watase and Kazami carefully made their way down to the connecting passageway. Fortunately, they made it to the infirmary without encountering anyone else. Then they laid the children down on the beds and began treating Natsuhiko immediately. Kazami used the scanner there to check Natsuhiko's blood type. You know, I was actually going to mention that last episode. I was like, how would they know what blood type they are? But, well, there we go. Now we know. She then took the type of blood pack out of the refrigerator and quickly set it into the transfusion kit. Finally, she pricked Natsuhiko with the needle, starting the transfusion. While that was going on, Watase used all the Sharon he had to heal up, seal up Natsuhiko's wounds as much as possible. That's not good. Can he make it? Immense relief washed over Watase. Oh, thank God, indeed. Yeah, well, the reason why we went to the area end was because supposedly there were supposed to be fires raging in the nuclear reactor that was upsetting the security system, which is why we were locked in here for such a long time in the first place. Well, when that turned, it didn't turn out to be true. Now we're questioning everything anyone said. You know, are the people on the surface and, and like our commander and stuff, are they lying to us? And if they are, why? You know, what is this place trying to hide? Kazami stared at Watasi with a stern look on her face, as the latter recounted the series of events that led him up to this point. He started by telling her how he'd gone to Eri and all by himself to try to put out the fires in order to end the lockdown. He then talked about how there had been no fires there, to say the least of the melted down nuclear reactor. Finally, he mentioned how he found Natsuhiko, was attacked by Sulu right afterwards, and then reluctantly knocked her unconscious. So, Kazami lowered her eyes to the floor as she pondered what Watasi had told her. This game just has nothing but questions. First, I'm thinking they're trying to keep us down here. Well, 
ただ原子炉がなかったということはここはそもそも原子力研究所じゃないのかもしれないそんな気がして仕方ない Well, I'm curious what this radiation supposedly is from. If there's no nuclear reactor, where is this supposed radiation coming from? That's a good question, right? I'm surprised no one's brought it up yet. Yeah, oh, here we go. I swear I haven't played this game. <laughs> it may look like it, but I haven't. I've, no, I've, I go through these games as blind as a bat. Because I like to be surprised, you know? Because if I play through the game beforehand, Then I kind of know the twists and turns, and you know, it's hard to feign surprise when the time comes, and I don't like that. It seems kind of dishonest. Well, maybe the AD has nothing to do with radiation, maybe it's something else. Uh, ここには何かヤバいものが蔓延してるのだよでは N エリアにあったあの機械は原子炉じゃなくて一体何なんでしょう Just as Kazami said that a fragmented memory flashed through Watashi's brain huh? そういえばなんかあの機械どこかで見た気が何ですって記憶を失う前ですか違うもっと最近のつい数時間ほど前の話だ。I wonder, do you think maybe since he saw that machine in his flashback, you know, obviously hours ago, that they locked the facility down in order to keep the secrets from getting out? あれは確か。But before Tashi could remember, uh oh, the door to the infirmary suddenly opened. Oh no. <laughs> Murderous design, I don't like that. Watashi and Kazami turned around in shock to find Yukita standing there with a smug look on his face. He's like, Yeah, found you guys. You're not getting out of this one. Now that I think about it, I think this guy knows exactly what this place is because he was so quick to dismiss the captain as being crazy and trying to, you know, be like a traitor to the group just to hide his own intentions. What? You could his eyes were glazed over with instability. His gaze locked onto the two survivors resting in their respective beds. I want to ask this guy some questions. Watasi carefully chose his words as he answered. The fires which weren't there. Yes, I did. Oh, do you now? Please enlighten me. Excuse me? He didn't understand why Yukida was angry, but Yukida ignored the bewilderment on Watashi's face and continued talking in a subdued voice. Did you? What are you talking about? You get grunted and reached into his breast pocket. And he then pulled out a pistol. Oh man. <coughs> look at that. Look at that look in his eyes. That crazed, manic look that it doesn't matter what happens, he's just gonna shoot you. Whoops. There we go. It was the same pistol that Ina had given him. The one whose bullets and magazine had been removed and given to June and Ina for safekeeping, leaving Yukita with the gun itself. It should have been unloaded. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure there's bullets in there, looking at his eyes. Hattari? 
How did he get the bullets? Well, wait a minute. June had the bullets, didn't she? And Ina had the magazine. So, if Ina and Yukida were together, which they were on this, then she probably gave him the bullets. Yuka's attitude made it clear that he apparently was not bluffing. Dude, don't kill me, man. Please. Yukita's words made no sense. His face was clearly brimming with insanity. I think he knew there was. If it was Yukita's fear of radiation that had caused him to fall so far off the beaten track, then hearing that would likely bring him back to his senses. However, well, maybe he didn't know about the reactor. But then again, he never had an area in clearance, so maybe all that was kept secret. Oh god. You could have pulled the trigger. Mutasi froze in terror. But right then. No! Yukida's bullet bore a hole in the wall behind Watas. Okay, good. She didn't get shot. I thought she was going to jump in front of me. Watasi pulled his pistol out as Kazami grappled with Yukida. No. Yukida frantically turned around where he caught sight of the gun pointed straight at him. Watasi had a chance to shoot him right then and there, but he couldn't pull the trigger. He didn't even know if there were any bullets left in that pistol. Yukida ran right out of the door and out of sight. The only trace of him left was his shouts coming from the hallway. Just deserts. The sound of Yukita's footsteps disappeared in the direction of Area 4. Yukita's gone mad. I don't know about June, but I don't I think she's probably down the same track at this point. There was something suspicious about Watasi, no question about it, but Yukida was talking or sorry, taking things way too far. He then suddenly realized that Kazami was staring at the gun in his hands. I forgot, where did we get this gun? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Because that was the gun that supposedly he was shot with. It seems she was scared of the pistol. Watasi quickly put it back in his breast pocket and changed the subject. What about the kids? We can't leave him here. Nachihiko's transfusion was still in progress, and Salu hadn't shown any signs of regaining consciousness. The lives would be in danger if another fight broke out in the infirmary. Oh yeah, Ina. We gotta check on her. And she doesn't have a pistol. Kazami attached the blood pack and transfused the kit to Natsuhiko's body. Watashi then carried him, with Kazami doing the same for Salu as they all left the room. Oh man, things are getting so tense. But by the time Watashi and Kazami returned to the office in Area 2, the door had been totally destroyed. Because remember, he destroyed the um the lock on the outside so that they couldn't get in with the keypad. But it looks like that didn't matter. <laughs> there was now a giant hole in the door, one big enough for a human to fit through. Now the destruction of the door opening mechanism meant nothing at all. Sensei! Watashi and Kazami frantically climbed through the hole. But there was no one there. Perhaps Ina hadn't gained consciousness and escaped on her own. Yeah, we, we kind of choked her out to keep her safe. 
Watashi was glad that she was apparently okay, but. Tassi and Kazami ran out of the room without a moment's delay. They then neared the connecting passageway to Area 1 when... A strange noise coming from up ahead stopped them in their tracks. What is that? Oh no, that's the grinder! They've been... They've been grinding holes in the doors. Or something. Watasi held his breath, then peeked into the passageway from a nearby corner. God, look at her. She's crazed. Morbid? June was about 10 meters away, wielding the engine cutter. She muttered something as blood poured out from her head. They've been looking for us. God, I love this game. June talked to thin air, she was changing a curse. Watashi trembled with fear when he heard her. Am I that son of a bitch? Why have he doubted me, so if those doubts just kept on escalating? It was strange no matter how he thought about it, but with Yukita's attempt on his life still fresh in his mind, that was the only possibility he could come up with. Watashi turned around and whispered in Kazami's ear. <laughs> And she could attack us with the cutter, we don't want that. Tassi nodded. He couldn't deny the truth in Kazami's pain statement. But as they tried to walk away, Watasi's boots clacked noisily against the floor. That's not good. The sound of the edge and cutter's motor rapidly grew closer. Watashi and Kazami desperately broke off into a run through the passageway. They looked around for a place to hide without stopping. They flooded through the Area 3 connecting passageway and closed the gate before Kazami chose to speak up in a frightened voice. Tassi checked his watch. It read 2.51 p.m. There were just 15 minutes left until the AD wore off. There was no doubt that everyone underground would be severely injured once that time came. The heavy silence hung in the air. Kazami soon shattered it with a sad voice. This was the first time Watashi had heard her sound so hopeless. So much so that it nearly broke his heart just listening to her. God damn it! So there's nothing we can do? Would it be better just to give it all up? But just as Watashi thought this, an image flashed through his brain. Who's talking? That's a different voice than usual. <laughs> Watashi gasped. What was that? Watashi had no idea. It appeared to be one of his old memories, a scene from his now forgotten past. Those words were nostalgic and comforting. They gave Watashi the strength he needed. Don't give up. Watashi relayed those words to Kazami. Those words brought the silence between them back. All Watashi could hear was the sound of Kazami breathing. But when they exited the connecting passageway, Kazami quietly spoke up. Hi. 
voice was brimming with the will of someone determined to escape from this despair. Whew. The Great Escape. Watasi said that to Kazami as they entered Area 3. How are we going to get outside, though? Everything is locked. ええ。しかし、どこかにそれがあるんでしょうか。我々も隊長が目覚める前からずっとそれを探していました。おそらくは外にいる司令長たちも。あの、I I think everyone's in this big conspiracy up above to keep us stuck down here. <laughs> Watase had also looked for alternate escape routes after they'd found that escape via the cargo lift was impossible, but when other problems had taken over while well, he tried and failed to do that, and now they were... Watase suddenly remembered something at that moment. Wait, <laughs> Watasi nodded and looked Kazami in the eye. The pipes. What climbed through the pipe? Oh, yeah. But wouldn't Oh yeah, that's right. Why? Oh dang, that's true. ラボが水没する危険性があります。そうか。水流を止める方法があればいいんだが。あの機械の正体が分かれば方策も立てられるかもしれませんが。Once she Maybe in the documents and the stuff you looked through earlier? Engine room. The engine room. Engine room no tanmats ni hai tita. Nantoka tiyu kikai no tenshi manual. So no saisho no page ni. Le no kyodai na kikai no gazo ga atta. So yeba. Kyoto stara. Ano manual ni. Sui ryu o tomeru ho ho ga kai te aru ka mo shire. Good thinking, ni Watasi. Taicho, sugu ni kakuni shimashou. Watasi nodded and headed for the engine room. They entered the engine room for the first time in what felt like forever. Watasi and Kazami laid Natsuhiko and Selu on the floor, ran up to the terminal and began fiddling with it. Watasi and Kazami brought their shoulders together as they looked over the image on the monitor. Uh, this document is an instruction manual for the WX Particle Amplifier. Due to the fact that there is a great danger involved in this operation, please read the manual carefully before you proceed. Furthermore, the properties of the WX Particle have extremely harmful effects on the body. Examples of this include dysynthesia, brain dysfunctions, genetic abnormalities, etc. Symptoms are dependent on the level of particle energy as listed below. Without AD, okay, it just shows you the different effects here. With AD, okay, con, con, yeah, so anything over 12,000 will cause us to be unconscious regardless. When using the amplifier normally, the particle energy levels should not exceed 2,000 MSV. When used for advanced experiments, the particle energy levels should not exceed 4,000 MSV. Tachibana, <laughs> Watasi felt the same, but now it wasn't the time to be thinking about that. Watasi read through the manual until a certain passage caught his eye. Coolant system. 
The amplifier generates large quantities of heat while in operation. Thus, a water coolant system has been installed in the engine room that takes in natural water from Lake Rokume to utilize as coolant fluid. The coolant is drawn through an intake pipe and is drained through a drainage pipe. Both pipes are 1 meter in diameter, 2.5 centimeters thick. Both have a volumetric flow rate of approximately 1200 liters per minute. The coolant takes, taken in by the intake pipe is drained once it has increased in temperature by approximately 25 degrees Celsius. In other words, if Lake Rokume is at 28 degrees Celsius during August, the coolant is expelled at 53 degrees Celsius. The control of the water flow is carried out by a four circulation pump located in the drainage pipe. Furthermore, there is a filtering mechanism within the intake pipe in order to prevent any foreign bodies from contaminating the coolant fluid. The filtering mechanism operates at high speeds to ensure that only, only distilled and filtered water is used as coolant. The expulsion of foreign bodies such as algae is carried out by a foreign body expulsion outlet located in the filtering mechanism. Should the filter mechanism ever break down, there is a risk of unfiltered water entering the amplifier and causing severe damage. Therefore, a floodgate located in the intake pipe will close in the event that the filtering me mechanism breaks down, thereby preventing the flow of unfiltered water. At the same time, the force circulation pump and amplifier will cease operation, stopping the flow of coolant. The location of each device can be seen in the diagram below. So we gotta take out the filtering mechanism. Watasi muttered that in a low voice as he looked into him. He looked up at the ceiling to find the intake pipe and drainage pipe running side by side. There was a ladder next to the pipes that led right up to them. Watasi strained his ears as he heard the sound of water running. He could also see a large machine located below the intake pipe that was apparently the filtering mechanism. あの、ろ過気候が故障すれば、いや、破壊してしまえば、水流は止まる。そうすれば、このパイプから、6 もし熱くて耐えられません。排水パイプの下部に穴を開けて、パイプ内の水を全て抜いてしまうという手もありますが。うん。それは危険だ。どのくらいの水が漏れ出てくるかわからない。万が一、とんでもない量の熱水が溢れて
しかし空気ボンベは面体が壊れたから使えないんじゃなかったか大丈夫ボンベから伸びているホースを手で保持し直接口に加えればいいのですこれは片手が塞がってしまう上会話もできなくなるので、うん、消化時には使えない方法ですああメキサンズだから今まで提案しなかったのですが水の中を歩くだけならなんとかなるか It was a very risky plan, but one they had to bet on. Their plan was looking more and more feasible with each problem they tackled. But for all their efforts, the true problem still remained. Ja, Saigo no Monday da. Sam, do ya te go ju sando no nesui ni tai. How hot is that in Fahrenheit, I wonder? Gotta be pretty hot. Cause I'm not at an answer. Mazu, Kion no go ju sando to, Suyon no go ju sando wa, Mataku bets mono des. 液体が肌に接すると気化冷却作用が起きなくなるため熱気よりも熱水の方がはるかに人体にダメージを与えます53度のお風呂に入ったことはないでしょう人はその温度のお湯に耐えられるようにできてませんだから水流を止めた上で水が冷えるのを待ちましょうか良さそうだが時間がかかりそうだな厚み 2.4 センチのパイプってほとんど魔法瓶みたいなもんだろう確かに多少水温が下がったのが確認できたらやけど覚悟で突入してみるか That's we can do that. Yeah. 我々は仮に耐えられたとしても要求所者、yeah, 特に天川君はこの重症です耐えられるとは思えませんそうかそもそも夏彦を連れて脱出すること自体かなり難しいのか You know, if everyone were going so crazy, we could actually do this plan like all together and it would be fine, but now we got a, two murderers we gotta run from. しかし、一人だけでも脱出できたら、司令長たちを呼んでくることができるのですが、That's true. 警察を呼ぶことだってできます。そうすれば、錯乱している浮田さんたちも取り押さえることができるでしょう。じゃあ。せめて一人 Alright, Watasi, we know what to do. 一人だけでも熱水に耐えて脱出するすべが見つかればいいんだな。As long as one of us can go get help, that's all we need. Watasi thought carefully about everything that he'd been up through at this point. He mobilized all the excessive knowledge he'd gained in the last five hours. Think, is there anything in this facility right now that can withstand heat? Yeah, those, um, those suits that we had. He and Kazami were wearing firefighting suits. They had fire resistant properties, but they probably wouldn't be any use against hot water. Oh, that. dang. What's more is that there were cuts on them all over the sleeves and neck area, so water would just get in from there. Then, is there anything we can do to completely seal the damaged spots? But even if they could, their faces were still completely exposed, so it would probably be impossible to make the whole thing airtight. Come on, don't give up. Think! There's gotta be a way! He remembered everything he'd seen up at this point. First, there was the gear he'd observed in the makeshift base the air tank, air jack, AD, Prokeon, and air engine cutter. Next was the things he had on him his PDA and security card, both were useless here. Finally, there was what they'd found in the facility the transfusion packs, transfusion kit, oxygen tank, Chiron, distilled water, the pistol, all of them useless. Did I see anything else? The answer has to be there, I know it! He looked back on the path he'd taken to reach this point. He'd woken up, met Kazami Jun, then saved Yuri. They had geared up at the makeshift base, met Ina and Yukida, then began their search after seeing the images of Nashihika and the others. They discovered their co-worker's body, but still continued the search regardless, then turned on the sprinkler system and put out the fires. <laughs> the sprinkler system. He remembered something Kazami had said. Something way back at the start of the search when they were at their makeshift base, hours and hours ago, which I've probably long forgotten. <laughs> Radiation protection suits. Bogofkua, Shoka Katsu Chuni Hassonste, Mots, Kaimononi Naranainodis. Kimitse, Taikase, Taisi Seni Sugre, Mentai Bubuni, Bombeo, Chokset, Sochak de Kirukotoma, Siomidatanodis. But they're broken. How can we use them? Because I told him that she'd been pointing to the ruined protection suits. Their face by stepping cracked. <laughs> And then he remembered another thing he'd seen a while back. A body whose lower half had been burned wearing a... Otasi's eyes widened. The two memories he held the answer he needed. Oh. Oh. The 
ガール見つかったんだ熱水に耐える方法がそそれは防護服だよ立花最後の最後で役に立ってくれたぜ Because I may say that the protection suits were airtight and had a high water resistance. So if we wore one of them, hot water wouldn't leak in. That would turn the 53 degrees Celsius water into 53 degrees Celsius air, temperature he could withstand. Not all the protection suits, though. Hesitation filled Kazami's eyes. It was indeed dangerous to go off on one's own in the facility now that Yukida and June were prowling it, however. Yeah, stay with the kids. We don't want to put them in any more danger. Utasi said that and stepped on the ladder. We will. Utasi nodded and ascended the ladder as fast as he could. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna go after the things we need to escape this facility. What's gonna happen? Well, we're gonna find out next time on more Root Double. Take it easy, everybody.